Hi guys, this is George back here with another video and welcome to a World of Jumanji construction update here at Chessington World of Adventures. So I've come here today to hopefully be able to see Mandrel Mayhem just behind me testing because it started testing about a week ago. So hopefully we might see some action going on with that today. Of course, it's not just Mandrel Mayhem that's going to be a part of this new area. We've also got two new flat rides in here as well two family flat rides and then of course this is the standout coaster a B&M sh launched shuttle wing coaster so yeah this is the first of its kind this is the first shuttle coaster B&M have done and they've not done many launch coasters either so it's very exciting to see something very unique coming to Chessington their first roller coaster since 2004 and that was of course Dragon's Fury as you can see we've got one of the cherry pickers here they'll be helping to construct the ride. Apparently there have been testing of the flat rides today. However, Mandrel Mayhem, I couldn't get too much information on. But we can see the train just in the station over there, as you can see. There were a lot of rumors saying the back a row was going to be a backwards facing seat. That has been confirmed, as you can see. Bit strange that they want to put a backwards seat on a shuttle coaster, considering you're going to experience it forwards and backwards anyways. But it is going to be a different experience going up facing forwards on this beyond vertical spike just here. So yeah, we can't see loads from around here. But I'll walk up the car park and see if we can find anything else. So here we are at the Helix now for the ride. Oh, there's noises going on in there. There are construction workers, I've just seen one. Yeah, as you can see, so there's the spike. So of course, you're gonna launch out the station backwards, up this spike here. Then gonna launch back forwards through the station. And you're gonna go through this inversion just over there. You can see the inversion just there. You're then gonna come around here into the second launch, which is just here. Well, technically third launch at this point. And you're then gonna go around this big helix, around this massive Jaguar structure. And then you're going to come rolling back and through the layout again backwards. But yeah, there are quite a few construction workers in there. Yeah, this coast is looking absolutely amazing. It's massive in person as well. I've seen so many photos of it. And this is the first time I've actually seen it since the track's been completed. The last time I was here was just after the inversion was put in during Winter's Tale. But yeah, now see, I've seen so many photos of this, but seeing it in person... It's absolutely huge and it's great to see a new B&M coaster in this country. The last B&M coaster to be built in this country was the Swarm at Thorpe Park and that opened in 2012. And not only that, it's got a really vibrant colour scheme as well. It's nice to see a coaster, a bright coloured coaster in the UK because normally we see quite dark coloured coasters. It's nice to see something a bit more vibrant and it looks amazing on this uh, sunny day as well. Sunny day in February. That's what we want. But yeah, as you can see, if we come over here, you can get a bit of a geeky shot over there at the launch. Of course, it's LSM launches on this ride. It looks absolutely fantastic though. And then of course, you've got the inversion over there. There's a lot going on. One comment I will make though, it doesn't look very much like a jungle. And of course, with the radio, and TV adverts, it is now saying the area to op will be opening in late spring. However, the park seemed to be saying, the, the, the signage around the park is currently saying spring. So we don't know what part of spring. However, looking at it now, it's definitely not going to be ready for the opening of the park, which is in just under a month's time, or just over a month even. But yeah definitely not going to be ready for then however maybe we could be seeing it for the Easter holidays or maybe May half term but what's important is they get this area right of course we've been waiting a while for this now we want to be stepping into a themed immersive land so if it takes a couple of extra months for them to do that it will be worth it if, we're, if they're going to do the area right which I'm sure they will I'm sure it's going to look absolutely amazing by the time it's finished but until then, we are going to have to wait a little bit longer. But as long as they get it right, that is the important thing. 
It's a shame we can't go up to the front as well and get a front facing view of this Jaguar as well. This is kind of the closest we can see to its face. But yeah, it does look really good from this angle. And when it's testing, it's going to look fantastic as well. Hopefully we will get to see that later. Apparently the two flat rides have been testing today. But Mandrel Mayhem I haven't found any, I haven't got any information on. So we're going to have to wait and see with that one. But in terms of the flat rides, you can't really see them from here. So one of them is just behind the launch over there. I don't think we're going to be able to see it from here. That's Ostrich Stampede. And that's a, a Techno Jump style ride. And then we've also got Mamba Strike, which is a mini Miami. So yeah, let's see if we can get a bit more of a, a view. There we go. Ride testing in operation. Hopefully that's something we're going to see today. There, I don't know if you'll be able to see it. No, you can't see it too well on here. But uh, Mamba Strike's just over there. And then there's the station. The station does look a bit unthemed, if I'm honest. It kind of looks like a tin box. So hopefully they're going to put some more planting around that, make it look a bit more like a jungle. But yeah, there's very little plant life actually in at the moment. You've, of course, got a little bit over there in the central part of the area. That's uh, where uh, the board game path layout is going to be and all of the different game pieces are going to be in there. That's Mamba Strike over there as well. Can you see that red bit there? That is Mamba Strike. I don't think we're going to see Ostrich Stampede from here though, but I'll go a bit further up and have a closer look. But yeah, this coaster is looking fantastic. I can't wait to ride this. Not sure how well I'm going to be able to pick it up on camera, but over there, oh yep, you can see it. There is the giant Mamba over at Mamba Strike. And there's another look at the launch there as well. You can see some of the fins over there. Look at that, it looks fantastic from here. And then of course you've got the inversion over there. So let's have a bit more of a walk up. We're nearly at the top now. Of course this is normally the entrance of the park. However, the gate is currently closed off unfortunately. Which is a shame. We're not gonna get any front facing views of the mandrel. Uh, not the mandrel, the Jaguar, sorry. Yeah, here's the entrance just here. As you can see there's bit of work going on there you've got a cherry picker in there and there is a closer look at the inversion it looks brilliant from here look at that and there as well I don't know how well you can see it through the fence that white bit there through the fence that's ostrich stampede this is the first time I've seen this as well I think yes it is last time I was here that was covered up. I believe it was covered up. It might not have even been installed yet. I've seen so many photos of this area and to finally see it in person is amazing. Other updates going on in the park. As you can see, Dragon's Fury has had uh, its supports painted. So that's looking very fresh. But yeah, this is very exciting to see. So of course, during the season, you're gonna walk in through this entrance see Mandrel Mayhem right there and then you're going to go around to the right just over there and that's where the entrance to the area is going to be just underneath that inversion there wow it looks absolutely fantastic but yeah it's annoying there's no one over here to ask if it's going to be testing today I think we're just going to have to wait about and see if anything's going to happen okay then guys I've just noticed there appears to be someone in the op booth just there. It's a good sign. So hopefully, we're about to see it testing. I've just been hearing some noises as well, but I'm not 100% sure it's the co I'm pretty sure it's not the coaster. But, someone in the op booth up there, or what I assume is going to be the op booth, is a very good sign so hopefully we might be about to see some testing action
Here we go guys, they've just been moving the train. It was closer, as you can see, it's now further away. Something's definitely happening. I don't know what, but things are looking quite promising. Here we go guys, they're gradually rolling the train to the front and the back of the station. Something is most likely about to happen. I don't know how long it's gonna be, but hopefully we're about to see it start testing. Hopefully we're just about to see it launch backwards up the spike, and then that will be absolutely fantastic. So then guys, unfortunately we didn't see any more testing action for Mandrel Mayhem. Basically, uh, we were waiting around for probably about, in fact, yeah, it was about three hours I was there in total. I met some other enthusiasts as well just as, after I finished recording that last clip. Uh, so I was talking with them for a while. We saw Digital Dan there, Thrill Riders, and a few other people as well. They were probably group of about 10 of us all waiting uh, to see it all testing and we'd get all excited every time we saw some movement in the station or if the operator stood up or sat down and then he'd leave the station and then go back up there and then he'd look like he's about to press the button but then he doesn't and then someone else goes up there and then they put high vises on and then they leave again and, and then they're on the station platform possibly pressing buttons over there and then they start moving the train again a little bit more but no that was that was all we saw unfortunately so I will most likely be back there, um, maybe before the park reopens, depending on when the area opens, to be honest. If, if the area is not going to open until May half term, then I'll probably just wait and see if I can get some testing footage uh, in March once the rest of the park's open, because to be honest, I don't really want to go again uh, while, the park's still uh, while the park's still closed. So it would be nice to be able to go uh, when I can get one, better views of the coaster itself, so I can get some more footage of it testing, and two, when the other rides are open, so I can make a full day of it rather than travelling all that way. It's a two and a half hour train journey for me about an hour drive so it's not the easiest place to be able to just nip in and out of so it would be nice to be able to go when the rides are actually open next time but depending on when the area opens will depend if i'm back there before uh, march or not so i believe the park opens is it 23rd of march something like that uh, there's a pass holder day on the 19th so yeah, we'll, we'll see what happens with the area and when it's going to open. But yeah, it definitely doesn't look like it's going to open for a few months. It's definitely not going to be ready for the opening. It's not looking very much like a jungle at the moment. And as I said earlier, I would rather them take a bit more time with it, but make sure they get it right. Because I want to be stepping into an immersive themed area here. I want to feel like I'm in a jungle. I want to feel like I really am in the game of Jumanji. That is the whole point of this area, of course, and hopefully that's what we're going to be getting with uh, this potential couple months of delay. Late spring is what radio adverts are saying. Uh, banners around the park and adverts around the park are still just saying spring, so we don't know what's going on yet. But that is everything that I have to show you of the world of Jumanji today. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure to follow me on Instagram at George Kelly. Follow me on Twitter at George Kelly. And check out my other YouTube channel at George Kelly. Thank you very much for watching. Stay safe, everyone. And I will see you all later. Bye.